A quiet street in Wake Forest, now the scene of an unspeakable crime. Saw the sirens and police cars outside and wondering what the heck is kind of taking place. When Wake Forest police rushed to this home, they came upon a grim discovery. Multiple stab wounds to the chest, face, defensive wounds on the hands. I don't know what could have caused this or brought it on. Neighbors who live on Polanski Drive say they are stunned. Oh, but they're a great family. I've met them before, all very nice. And I'm just kind of shocked by kind of what I'm finding out today. Bitch, nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain anything you want, anything you need. Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief. Uh -huh. They'll see what the negativity, but I just slide right by that energy. Uh -huh. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never ran, said no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. That was a money shot. On February 4th, 2024, in Wake Forest, North Carolina, police will respond to a report of a crime taking place in a quiet suburban community on the 3100 block of Polinski Drive. The home is quietly nestled in the Cadell Woods community, which is located about a 30-minute drive north to North Carolina's capital, Raleigh. What was supposed to be a day of love turned into a day of complete catastrophe for one family, leaving two people hurt and, unfortunately, one unalive. The Edie family seemed to have the perfect life, a mother and father happily married with two bright kids and so many accomplishments to be proud of. Edmund Edie Sr. happily married Dina Costin on July 28, 2001. Pair were already parents to a daughter, Nyla Danae Edie, who was born November 25, 1999. It would be just the three of them until June 21, 2003, when Edmund's namesake was born, Edmund Edie Jr., Edmund Sr. and Danae were college sweethearts and met at Winston-Salem State University in North Carolina in the 90s. Throughout the years, Edmund Sr. was said to be a dedicated coach plus mentor to the youth in his community and also worked at Best Buy both as an employee and a general manager. He seemed to be a great provider and completely dedicated to his family. The kids seemed to stay active in sports and activities and were excellent students. Nyla was an honor roll student and was active in dance, track, and basketball growing up over the years. She seemed to adore her little brother, who was just as accomplished, being active in music and sports. The entire family seemed to be very close-knit and loved creating wonderful memories to look back on. In the spring of 2017, Edmund Jr. graduated middle school. He would write the class a send-off speech, and Edmund Sr. wrote this on Facebook while sharing a video. My son, a.k.a. Legacy, wrote this for his eighth grade send-off when they were graduating to move on to high school. Junior doesn't know it, but he inspires me daily, and I continue to try to lead by example for him. As you can tell, Edmund Sr. was proud of his son and felt he was going to be great in life. Junior would go on to high school and accompany his sister, who was in her senior year, 2017 to 2018 school year. As Nyla was finishing up high school in the end of 2018, she would post on National Siblings Day, Happy National Siblings Day. Love this dude to death. Even though we fight and avoid each other at school, I wouldn't want anyone else to be my bro. He's the best, and I know he's going to miss me when I go to college. So you just can tell that Nyla had a great deal of respect and love for her younger brother, as most siblings do. Nyla would take after her parents, and in the fall of 2018, she began her college education at Winston-Salem State University. In June 2022, a year after Edmund Jr. graduated high school, the family of four will be hit with tragedy when Edmund Sr. passed away sadly. I can only imagine how difficult that must have been for the entire family, losing who many called a good man at only 43 years young. Now, the cause of his unaliving was never revealed, but according to loved ones, the life he left was a lasting impression on everyone who knew him. However, not even two years had passed and the family would be hit again with an even bigger tragedy the night before Valentine's Day. According to official reports, police responded to a stabbing just before midnight on that Wednesday. When authorities arrived at the address on Polinski Drive, they found two women who had been injured with a knife, one being 47-year-old Dina Eady and the other being 24-year-old Nyla Eady. Now, the authorities will receive two 911 calls, and the first call was from a male, and he would state, I just unalived my, and then they redacted the name, I need y'all to come, you know, arrest me, do the whole thing. Then the 911 operator said, 
You said you unalive. Name redacted again. The male said, yes, ma'am. I stabbed her to D word. I did it on purpose. Then the 911 operator asked if he could tell her why. And he said, no, hurry up, please. The second 911 call was from a woman who said she was locked in a bedroom and had the knife. The authorities would rush 24-year-old Nyla to a local hospital as she was suffering from multiple stab wounds. Sadly, Nyla was pronounced unalive at the hospital, according to the news release. Her mother, who ended up being the woman who made the second call to 911, had non-life-threatening injuries from being stabbed as well. To make it more heartbreaking, it was determined that Edmund Jr. was the first 911 caller and he admitted to purposely unaliving his sister and trying to unalive his mother. Police then arrested Edmund Eddie Jr., 20, on charges of unaliving and assault with a deadly weapon with the intent to take someone's life, inflicting serious injury, according to the news release. Now to a family tragedy playing out in Wake Forest. This man, 20-year-old Edmund Eddie Jr., is accused of stabbing two women and killing one of them. The victims were his family. His sister died from her injuries. His mother is recovering as we speak. WRL's Chelsea Donovan has been talking to neighbors to learn more about this family. A quiet street in Wake Forest, now the scene of an unspeakable crime. Saw the sirens and police cars outside and wondering what the heck is kind of taking place. When Wake Forest police rushed to this home, they came upon a grim discovery. He stabbed her to death. Police and EMS first found 24-year-old Naya Edie dead from stab wounds. Then police found 47-year-old Dina Edie suffering from non-life-threatening stab wounds as well. Multiple stab wounds to the chest, face, defensive wounds on the hands. Police charged 20-year-old Edmund Edie with the murder of his older sister and attempting to kill his mother also with a knife. It is another tragedy for this family. This GoFundMe page shows the family's picture for funeral expenses for the suspect's father, who died less than two years ago. She's been there, single parent. Can't understand how this could have possibly happened. Records that were pulled show that before the incident Tuesday, police were called to the home only once in the past, and that was for a nonviolent complaint. And Edmund Jr. had no record at all. He is currently being held in the Wake County Detention Center under no bail. What a horrible tragedy on top of losing Edmund Sr. a little over a year and a half ago. Dina has endured a lot, and now she basically lost both her kids because Junior, the alleged culprit, will most likely be in jail for a long time, if not the rest of his life. Even worse, he could possibly get the death penalty in North Carolina as well if found guilty of this crime. This is another tragic and sad case of DV, and my condolences goes out to Dina and the rest of the family and loved ones who are all involved. So please don't forget to comment your thoughts on this situation and your prayers for this family in this much difficult time. Also hit that like button and share to make your people aware. And as always, remember to stay woke. Things change quickly.